Have you ever wondered why our reactions to certain situations seem so automatic, almost like they're hardwired into our system? Well, in a way, they are. These responses are what we call instincts, and they've been central to our survival since the dawn of humanity. Instincts are primal responses ingrained in our DNA, prompting us to react in ways that enhance our chances of survival. From the adrenaline rush that fuels our fight or flight response in dangerous situations, to the nurturing impulse that ensures the continuity of our species, instincts are a fundamental part of what it means to be human. Moreover, our instincts extend beyond mere survival. They also fuel our desire for social interaction, driving us to form communities and establish societal norms. And let's not forget the instinct of curiosity, that insatiable thirst for knowledge and exploration, pushing us to continually evolve and adapt. Now, let's delve deeper into these instincts and discover how they subtly shape our daily lives. From the moment we're born, one instinct stands out more than others, survival. Our innate survival instinct is a primal call embedded in our DNA. It triggers two fundamental responses, fight or flight. This instinct, honed over thousands of years of evolution, has been our guardian against danger, our shield in the face of adversity. The fight or flight response is a fascinating mechanism. When we perceive a threat, our bodies gear up for action. It's like a switch flips inside us, flooding our system with adrenaline, sharpening our senses, quickening our heartbeat. It's all about survival, either stand your ground and fight, or take flight and evade danger. In our modern, relatively safe world, we're not often chased by predators or face life-threatening dangers, yet this survival instinct is far from obsolete. It's simply adapted. It's what gives us the jitters before a big presentation or makes our heart race when we're alone in a dark alley. It's our body's way of preparing us for potential threats, no matter how subtle they might be. Our reactions to stress, too, are a manifestation of this fight-or-flight instinct. We either confront the stressor head-on or we seek ways to escape it. It's a survival strategy, hardwired into our biology. Our survival instinct, though not as regularly used as in our primitive days, still plays a crucial role in our lives. Another powerful instinct we all possess is the drive to reproduce. This instinct is as old as life itself, deeply ingrained in our DNA, compelling us to ensure the continuity of our species. Let's take a moment to consider how this instinct influences our lives. Have you ever wondered why physical attractiveness plays such a significant role in our choice of partners? It's not just about societal norms or personal preferences. Our innate drive to reproduce leads us to seek out partners who appear healthy and strong, those who, from a biological perspective, are likely to produce robust offspring. It's fascinating, isn't it, how this primal instinct shapes our perceptions of beauty and influences our romantic decisions, but it doesn't stop there. Once we have children, the same instinct kicks in, driving us to protect and nurture our offspring. It's a powerful, all-consuming drive that transcends culture, geography and time. This instinct also motivates us to create a safe and nurturing environment for our children, to provide them with the best possible opportunities for growth and development. It's why parents across the globe work tirelessly, making sacrifices for the well-being of their children. So, while we may live in a modern society where science and technology have transformed our lives, our primal instincts still hold sway. They continue to shape our decisions, our relationships and our very identities. While modern society has evolved, our reproductive instincts continue to guide our actions in subtle ways. Humans by nature are social creatures. We thrive in groups and communities. This primal instinct of ours has shaped our evolution, giving rise to what we now term as herd mentality. But what exactly is herd mentality, you ask? It's the inclination for individuals within a group to think, behave and make decisions in a manner similar to those around them. This instinct for social interaction is not something to be frowned upon. It is, in fact, a survival tactic, honed over millennia. In the early days of our species, Sticking together increased our chances of survival against predators. Today, it influences our decisions on a multitude of levels. Think about it. 
Aren't we all more likely to try a new restaurant if it's bustling with customers or buy a product if it has stellar reviews? That's herd mentality in action. We are inherently wired to seek acceptance and validation from our peers. We fear being ostracized, left alone on the outskirts of society. But remember, while herd mentality can lead to unity and cooperation, it can also result in conformity, suppressing individuality and creativity. It's a delicate balance, one we must constantly navigate in our quest for social harmony. Our social instincts, though often overlooked, greatly shape our interactions and relationships. They are as much a part of us as our need to breathe, to eat, to sleep. They make us human. Our final instinct is perhaps the most unique to our species, curiosity. A spark that ignites in the mind, curiosity is what propelled us from cave dwellers to space explorers. This inherent desire to learn and explore is so deeply ingrained in our DNA, it has become an instinct. As humans, we have an innate need to understand the world around us. This has led us to probe the depths of the oceans, scale the highest mountains, and even venture into the vast expanse of space, all in pursuit of knowledge. Our curiosity is not just about exploration, it's also about innovation. It's what drives us to ask questions, to seek answers, to challenge the status quo. It's the reason we've moved from stone tools to smartphones, from horse-drawn carriages to self-driving cars. Curiosity has been a powerful force in our evolution. It not only drives us to learn and explore, it also pushes us to adapt and innovate. It's the reason why we, as a species, have been able to survive and thrive in a wide range of environments, from the frigid poles to the sweltering equator. Let's not forget, curiosity is also the source of our greatest achievements. It's behind every scientific discovery, every technological breakthrough and every artistic masterpiece. Our curiosity, the driving force behind our advancements, continues to push the boundaries of our understanding. Understanding our instincts can offer valuable insights into our behaviours. This journey through our primal instincts, the fight-or-flight response, our drive to continue the species, the herd mentality and our inherent desire to learn and explore reveals how deeply they are woven into the fabric of our existence. These instincts, etched into our DNA over millennia, continue to shape our actions, decisions and emotions in today's rapidly evolving world. They are the silent puppeteers guiding our dance on the stage of life. By acknowledging their presence and influence, we can better comprehend why we behave in certain ways. This understanding can lead to personal growth and societal progress. Harnessing our instincts is not about suppression, but rather about using them as tools to navigate the complexities of our world. It's about creating a harmonious relationship between our primal selves and our conscious minds. By recognizing and embracing these instincts, we can better navigate our lives and shape our future.